The Marathon Clothing Store was the first smart store created by the late Nipsey Hussle. As the perfect marriage between fashion, retail, art, and technology, Nipsey was more than just a musician. He was a visionary with plans to disrupt the fashion industry through a concept no one had thought about during his time and that brands today are going crazy to implement in their strategies. Even years after, Nipsey's legacy is impacting the fashion industry. How did he innovate the retail concept? Let's find out today. The Marathon Clothing Store. Picture this. As soon as you enter the flagship Marathon Clothing Store, you'll be asked to download an augmented reality AR app developed by Nipsey and his chief technology officer, Idris Sandu. As you come closer to the beanies, t-shirts, and swimwear spread throughout the shop, something incredible happens in your phone. Could you imagine what it is? Keep watching and you'll find out. Nipsey's vision was that people would visit the Marathon Clothing Store and live an artistic experience at the same time. His plan began when he observed the changes in the retail industry during 2015. Back then, people weren't shopping for clothes in physical store environments like they did 10 years ago. Amazon had set a standard for two-day shipping, and Zara and H&M had made quality and price incredibly available for the masses. The once almighty retail giants like Sears and J. Crew were being taught by the changes in consumer habits. The digital versions of these stores offered the same benefits as the physical ones. How could he make shopping an experience motivating people to visit physical stores? In 2017, Nipsey opened his first brick and mortar store in Crenshaw, where he grew up, along with Carles, head of agency Karen Civil, and his brother Samuel Askedom. It would become the world's first smart store, and he began his clothing line with fitted caps, beanies, unisex sweatshirts, women's swimwear, and children's clothing. In a smart store, every piece of clothing unlocks a unique piece of content through the AR technology built within the mobile app. What kind of content though? Imagine documentaries or music videos, only available through products designed for release. To experience this special content, you have to be in store or buy the shirt and use the app to scan the product. He was adding artistic value to the customer journey. And if you like this idea, show us some love by subscribing. Part of Nipsey's inspiration was Supreme's brand strategy. He wanted the audience to grasp the essence of his brand as soon as they went inside the store. Nipsey understood supply and demand and content exclusivity in music and entertainment. He had to capture an exclusive concept and integrate it with augmented reality. Let's compare it with Supreme for a second. Supreme is a streetwear brand aimed at skaters. You can go to some of their flagship stores and find a half pipe or hear some scraping on the rail around the shop. That's because there are people back there skating who wear Supreme. That's the brand's essence, and Supreme creates an atmosphere inside its stores through that essence. Nipsey had an excellent grasp on creating an atmosphere and wanted to innovate in his brand through a similar strategy. Sandu would motivate his audience to experience the Marathon Clothing Smart Store features on Twitter, sharing links of the app and download links for both iOS and Android. Augmented reality is a trend in retail nowadays but its technology has been available to companies since the 2000s. Brands had slept on it for decades because consumers didn't care for these experiences back then. Nipsey saw an opportunity to stand out by leveraging the ever-growing interest in fashion shoppers for better experience. Fans frequently saw Nipsey at his Crenshaw store every day, shipping and packaging products to his customers and investing in his line and community. On top of that, he made sure his augmented reality art and fashion strategy were scalable. He was once on track to become a real estate tycoon. Investing in a neighborhood strip mall in South Central Los Angeles, he could easily replicate these strategies in every smart store he created. Nipsey's store was more than just a business. It was a community hub and a symbol of hope for the neighborhood. It was a place where people could come together, shop, and connect. With its innovative approach to fashion and commitment to the community, the Marathon Clothing Store became a beacon of change and inspiration. The Grammy-nominated artist was going to disrupt retail. There were plans of even creating a theme park for the brand, trying to combine hip-hop, fashion, and tech, at least until a tragedy stopped the retail revolution right in its tracks. Nipsey Hussle was gunned down in front of the Marathon flagship store on March 31, 2019. 
The Marathon flagship store closed, but was turned into a memorial site for Nipsey. His family announced in 2022 that they'll open a Marathon clothing store number two in Los Angeles to honor Nipsey's longtime goal and for his kids to see his plan fulfilled. They announced they have plans of creating a museum to honor Nipsey and having their community space will offer free music lessons for young people to honor the program Nipsey himself was a part of as a youth. What's safe to say is that Nipsey pioneered the combination of technology and fashion in ways that not even the most high-end fashion brands have done so far, as a way to tell a story. Nike has created a metaverse experience on Roblox, Gucci created a Gucci Vault land where users explore the brand's history, but these attempts remain completely digital and haven't captured audiences. What made the marathon clothing stand out was the unique storytelling of each clothing item. Even the most basic tee had a story behind its craftsmanship. All you had to do was scan it with the app. They weren't just fulfilling a quota for digital interactions, they were making history in fashion. Nipsey's legacy is still felt through the fashion world. Idris Sandu ended up having a successful career after collaborating with Nipsey and consulting for industry greats like Jay-Z and Beyonce. AR has now become the norm for brands to give their customers interactive digital experiences so that they can shop in new and exciting ways. For example, Burberry collaborated with artist Danny Sangra to develop drawings for an AR feature in their iOS application. Sounds a little similar to what Nipsey was doing, right? And we're not only talking about fashion, all retail sectors are trying to integrate both AR and VR to assist their customers. Others are simply using AR in their e-commerce stores so customers can see how products look like from the comfort of their homes. But what about you? Which of these two AR experiences do you prefer? Going in-store to download a special app or using AR to see how your favorite clothing items look from the comfort of your computer? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fashion insights like today.